Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Desi USA Television. Today we have a special guest with us, and he is Swami Swami Ji Radha Nanda Ji, and he will be talking to us and answering questions uh, on Hinduism and Sanatan Dharam. Good morning, Swami Ji. Thank you, Kamal Ji. I will uh, do my best to answer your questions. Hmm. <coughs> Swami, my first question is: Tell me what is Hinduism? Hinduism is the religion that is being practiced in India beyond the Indus River. We really call ourselves Sanatanis. Hindu word has come from the Western world because they thought that people living beyond the river Indus are the people who are known for their spirituality. So they called us Indus or Hindu, but we are really Sanatanis or we believe in Vedanta. and we have very little to do with the word hindu in our scriptures we are believing in eternal religion that belongs to all people in all places under all circumstances excluding no human beings on this earth swami so i have a next question then do we have to study religion because nowadays you know i'm busy with my work i need to go to work and just pay my bills my credit cards and i really don't have time for all this you think i should still study or what should i do well i think that uh, religion should be studied little bit from childhood we used to teach while you are young and student and you don't have responsibility of family and all this at that time that is the time we need to understand the purpose of human life who is god who we are why we are here what are we supposed to do but now that you are in your situation uh you can still read little bit but really speaking you should take care of your family your house your job only thing is be honest to yourself and uh, be dignified don't deceive people don't lie to people in business be very honest then i think you are already practicing gita and you really don't have to need because many people read but don't practice actually they are more deceptive than uh, those who don't even read gita So it's not a reading that matters, but what you put in your life is more important. And if you earn properly, you are honest. I think that you are already practicing Gita. So we, so this means that uh, you, you, we should devote some time to studying religion, or should we? How should we like, like organize this system? Because I have to go to work from you know eight to nine or ten, and I, when I come back, I don't have time. so when should i do this how should i organize myself yes uh, kamal ji i think ye sab ka problem is all people have the same problem as we are advancing in india and here people don't have time particularly in the cities we are a slave of our life i don't think that earning bread should keep us so busy that we have no time to read our uh, scriptures about what god says about us or even spending time with our family I doubt if we have enough time to even spend with our family and children. So I think it is not going to be very wise. We are somehow sucked in into this artificially made society, and the economics, and the standard and the requirement. So we have to restructure and reorganize. Try to reduce your requirements so that you don't have to earn so much, and then you will have more time to study, enjoy nature, your family. so i think somehow we should find time and at least half an hour early morning to study gita and uh, think about it yourself i'm not talking about rituals but i think there is plenty for us to learn you could you should find half an hour out of 24 hours okay so my next question is swami ji let's say i'm rich i have everything i have happiness everything do i still need to study religion well religion actually it's not understood properly but we are talking about religion in the sense that we will understand how to find love within us and then we will love people on this earth we are here to love not making money or something which is all right as our needs are but that should not be the goal people who have money are not as happy as you think or they have love so money should not be god money is only a means to survive to live and uh, to help the people if god has given us the money otherwise money will become a devil towards us and we will be a slave of money and we will be missing out the love that we belongs to us and to our family and to the rest of the world so i think to think that money is everything 
it is nothing but foolishness and it is devilish according to Gita. Unless you use that money honestly on and honestly spending minimum for yourself and helping the needy or the poor who are many, the 80% of the world is starving. So money can be properly used, then money will be useful, but money should never be made as God or the only thing or important thing in life. It is only one of the many things. Swami, I'm scared of death. Uh, scared of death, of course, because we are not understanding who God is, who we really are. We think only of ourselves as a body which must, must die because it was born, all bodies go, but we are not the body. We are God, we are love, and we, as God we are not going to die, so I don't think we should fear God, but, I mean fear death, but since we do not know God, we do not know our inner self which never dies as we call Atma, we need to understand religion and purpose of life that we are God, part of God that never dies, then you will not have the fear of God. But since you are thinking only of your body and the flesh, I think then you are going to have a fear for that because you are not going deep enough and you consider yourself only as clothes. Body is nothing but a clothes for the Atma or God. So if you go deeper, you will not have fear for death. You will overcome the fear for death. So how many you? Explain me war in this, on this earth, with all these wars happening. What do you have to say? Wars that? are due to ignorance, uh, lust, greed, pride, vanity. Uh, we do not see God and people as a united family. So I think that war is nothing but violence. There should be no reason for any time, anywhere to have war. But people are always greedy. The kings were there, the, the CEOs, the politicians, the business people. We are all after lust and greed. And as long as it is there and narrowness in thinking about religion, my religion, your religion, we'll have wars. But war should not be there. There is no need for it. If we believe in one God, one family, mankind or humankind as a one big family with one God, then only we will be free from war. Otherwise, considering ourselves as frogs in different wells, we are always, because of vanity and pride, we'll have friction. The only way to avoid this is to consider one God and one family and try to be broad-minded and not become so narrow-minded as we are in all religions. Swamiji, my last question. What do you, how will you teach us and what do you have to say to the whole world? Again, as I said, we are children of one God. We have come here only to enjoy the beauty that God has created. We don't have to work hard. Animals and birds are getting food without working. I'm sure God has provided for us the food and everything we need. Like mother, before she gives birth to the child, she has prepared milk in her breast and not before or after, perfectly at the time when the baby is born. Then if God is so perfect, to think about the baby, we are the babies and I am sure he has planned for us but we have no faith, we don't understand God, we do not know why we are here and so we are struggling on this earth. So I think that we should have faith and our purpose of life here is to enjoy, appreciate what God has made and not just get lost in food and uh, body worship, even the animals are taken care of. We should have faith, of course we have to work. But we have to work honestly, we don't have to cut throat of each other and rob money and money is the only goal. I think then we will be much more happier if we work as a family and those who are intelligent who make money. God has given you intelligence, you are supposed to return the product that you can make out of the intelligence for the good of the world instead of building uh, 60 bedroom homes while people are still starving and dying in this world. Thank you Swamiji. Thank you, Kamalji. I am very happy and I am sure we can teach the world without any charge. It is all free, love is free and we can use the modern media like YouTube and other means uh, to teach people the truth and I would be more than happy to do that. As a matter of fact, I am thinking about it with your help. Uh, we hope we can do that. Yes, I'd like Thank to you. tell our audience also that Swamiji's uh, lectures are on, uh, on YouTube.com and you can just type in Swami Radhananda ji and you can get all his lectures for free and uh, get some more education. Thank you for being on the show Swami. Thank you Kamal ji.